So to start, sir, shall I start, sir? Saravanan, sir. Yes, sir. Shall I start? Shall we start, sir? Start. Okay. Very good morning to all of you. A hearty welcome on behalf of Career Counseling and Guidance Cell, DB Jain College, for the virtual career guidance program on corporate secretaryship. Let's start this thought-provoking session with a famous quote. Education is not the learning of facts. It's rather the training of mind to think. On behalf of the secretary, sir, principal, sir, Dr. C. Murugesan, and principal in charge, Dr. M. Shaktivel Murugan, sir, I take privilege to welcome our eminent speaker and guest, Mrs. Chitra Anantaraman, Deputy Director, Southern India Region, Regional Office, Chennai, to share her knowledge and guide the budding secretaries. Now, I call upon Dr. Vidya to introduce our chief guest. Over to you, Vidya. Thank you, ma'am. A very good morning and welcome all to this session on the topic Virtual Career Guidance Program on Company Secretaryship organized by the Career Counseling and Guidance Cell of Dandraj Bed Jain College, Chennai. The webinar couldn't have come alive without the initiative of our management. The session wouldn't be successful without the continuous support of our principal, Dr. C. Murugeshan, and uh, professor in charge, Dr. M. Shaktivel Murugan, sir. I feel extremely honored to introduce the very energetic and eminent person, Mrs. Chitra Anantaraman, MBA. She is the Deputy Director of Southern India Regional Council of the Institute of Company Secretaries of India, Chennai. Mrs. Okay. Chitra Anantaraman has been very passionate about her career awareness program at various educational institutions. She was also the coordinator for the Management Skills Orientation Program, which is one of the prestigious program. She has also coordinated some of the institute's program like ICSI Convocation, Teachers Congruence in Association with various universities, Mega Career Awareness Programs, and other national level programs, and also contributed write-ups of the proceedings of these programs in the e-newsletter of the Regional Council and Chartered Secretary. Ma'am was very instrumental in setting up ICSI study centers at various universities and colleges in and around Tamil Nadu and other states. She has received Achievers Award from Alma Meter SDNB Vaishnav College for Women, Department of Economics. We are highly delighted, ma'am, to have you here to share your insights on career guidance on company secretaryship. Welcome you, ma'am. I request you to take over the session, ma'am. And Thank before you. that, Thank just you. a minute, ma'am. Uh, yeah, the students, yeah. the feedback uh, link will be posted in the chat box at the end of the session. So kindly fill it, students. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Over to you, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Vidya, madam. Uh, good morning and uh, warm welcome to all of you for this webinar being organized by Dandraj Bait Jain College, Parai Pakkam, Chennai. I, Chitra Anantaraman, on behalf of the Institute of Company Secretaries of India, Southern Regional Office, uh, uh, happy to be, a, uh, proud to be a part of this program and address the students on online awareness program on company secretaryship course. So career opportunities uh, for corporate commerce and corporate secretaryship uh, students uh, are many and today we will be discussing about the company secretaryship course in particular, right? And uh, I thank uh, the Sakhiril Murugan sir, the principal sir, and uh, Madam Vidya, who, is, uh, who has been coordinating with me, and uh, Deepa Vasudevan, Madam Vijaya, Madam, I think uh, many faculties are available. Uh, I thank every one of you for uh, choosing this uh, topic for the benefit of the students and organizing this program. And uh, the institute is proud to associate with uh, DB. Jain College, uh, which is an institution of excellence. I visited uh, many times to your college and conducted uh, the physical career awareness program for the past uh, four or five years. And the college uh, has been kind enough to uh, this, uh, disseminate the information uh, to the students about this professional course, company secretaryship course. I congratulate all the students, particularly uh, who are participating in this program. Uh, they have chosen the commerce as their subject. And 
for in the commerce uh, these are all the value add on qualifications so uh, there were times where, where uh, with bcom and mcom qualifications the students would be getting their job right but uh, these are all so nowadays this is the basic qualification to enter into the job market unless the students have the requisite skills to face the uh, employer okay then it's very difficult to get uh, the employment and the main objective of this program is to convert the students from uh, the student uh, normal student to a professional okay you have to the students have to transform themselves to become a professional okay so why we have to become a professional okay we we have to be a professional no once you are a professional then you can uh, spare your time according to your convenience and you are the leader okay and you are an entrepreneur then you can spare your time according to your convenience you can spare uh, your time for your passion okay then for your profession then for your family so unless you are a professional it's very difficult right so it's uh, it is the time right time to plan for your professional career all of you are in graduation level and along with your graduation you can pursue this type of uh, professional courses okay so naturally this professional course will help you uh, to get very good marks in your graduation or post graduation okay and also simultaneously you are acquiring an additional qualification okay as i told you if you try for employment with your bcom or mcom degree you will be end up with a, a junior level position and you will be getting some 5000 6000 salary okay if you are trying your job with your additional qualification cs eet passed cs executive program passed then you can you will be getting a, a, a at least an executive position in the organization okay and do in employment also you can along with your employment you can pursue the third level professional course and you can convert yourself as a professional okay so this is the right time to plan for your uh, career uh, the, along with your graduation you can get and the advantage is when you are doing this professional course along with your graduation you naturally you will be getting very good marks in your under graduation okay because the uh, you will be studying the same subjects whatever you are studying in your graduation the same subjects you will be studying in this curriculum also and uh, you need not prepare anything separately for your uh, graduation uh, courses because uh, here uh, if you focus uh, the professional courses naturally you will be tempted to get very good marks in your graduation or post graduation okay and uh, the uh, the commerce students know they have lot of opportunities wherever they uh, they go they will uh, be respected with these professional courses and uh, now i have a ppt with me through this ppt i will share lot of information okay and at the end of the session we will have a question answer session through which uh, we will clarify all your doubts okay so uh, the i will share the ppt and in the meantime i request all of you to uh, visit our website icsi.edu okay so if you visit this website it will give you lot of uh, information okay about the uh, the tips as to i'm getting some error from my system one second My screen is being shared. Yes, ma'am. Okay.
So I request all the students to visit the website icsi.edu. There is a separate icon CSEET. If you click on that icon, the students can get uh, the steps. Uh, the screenshot is available how to register for this CSEET entrance test. Okay. Uh, so there are four stages to become a professional company secretary. Uh, so uh, I will uh, detail in uh, after some slides okay, about the stages of the course. And now uh, the ICSI is a statutory body under an act of parliament and controlled by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. And this is the only institute which has been set up to regulate and develop the profession of company secretaries. Okay. Madam, I, my screen is shared. My screen is shared or not? No, ma'am. No. Hmm. No, ma'am. Okay, again, I will share it. Now is it visible, madam? Yes, ma'am. Now it's okay. visible. Okay, okay. So the company secretary, he is called the governance professional. Okay. And the company secretary will be balancing the interest of all stakeholders. So he is a link between the board of directors and the stakeholders. So the, the company secretary's role will be there in all um, in all phase of the organization. Uh, so the role as uh, the role of the company secretary is he is an advisor to the board of directors uh, with this only qualification uh, you can go up to the level uh, ladder to become a key managerial personnel and he can be a compliance officer secretarial auditor corporate risk manager chief governance uh, professional then insolvency professional gst professionals these are all the various areas various areas where the company secretaries can practice, okay? It is not only that he should practice only on company law. They have various other uh, areas also to practice, okay? Then the, we have our headquarters at Delhi and four regional offices at Metro Cities. We have a center of excellence and uh, CCGRT at uh, Mumbai, okay? And we have our presence all over India. Uh, India. The, there are students who uh, from Andaman and Nicobar Island and Lakshadweep Island are also pursuing the company secretaryship course. Okay, so the, the our institute has uh, on its roles over sixty thousand qualified members, both in employment and in practice. As you are aware, if you become a qualified company secretary, there are two options available. You can you can be in employment or you can uh, become an entrepreneur by setting up your own practice. Then uh, there, uh, there are more than uh, 3 lakh students are currently pursuing the company secretaryship course and we are conducting the examinations at around 200 centers across the country and we have an overseas center at Dubai also and there are counselors uh, uh, appointed by ICSI who are, um, uh, who, who are uh, reaching the students of semi-urban and rural areas. Okay. And uh, we have an opportunity to invite our Honorable uh, Prime Minister during our uh, Golden Jubilee celebrations. So he is supporting this professional company, profession of company secretaries because the company secretaries are the task bearers of the corporates. Okay. So the motto of the ICSI is Satyam Vada Dharmam Chara. It, it has been taken from Taitriya Upanishad and it implies that uh, one should speak the truth and follow the rules and regulations. The company secretary's advice right or wrong has a direct impact on the corporate governance of the country. So he is, uh, he is, uh, he in his words, uh, in our uh, the Golden Jubilee celebrations, he said, say, I'm honored to be with the experts who ensure every company in the country follows the law of the land, maintain complete transparency, okay? 
then the company secretary in the employment as a key managerial personnel as you are aware you know the companies act 2013 confers a special status to the company secretary as a key managerial personnel and bracketed him along with the md ceo and cfo so the appointment of full time kmp has to be made by a board resolution which is a testimony of the significance of the role of company secretary as a key managerial personnel so unlike other positions the company secretary position will be uh, done by the board resolution the board of directors have to approve the appointment of a company secretary uh, and to become a cfo there is no mandatory qualification but for a company secretary it is a mandatory qualification okay with this qualification the, uh, the the professionals can go up to this ladder of a key managerial personnel okay then uh, every listed company and other public company having paid up share capital of 10 crore or more they have to appoint a full time key managerial personnel okay so the demand is more supply is less for the company secretaries professionals so if you see in india there are, there are approximately there will be Uh, 10 to 15 lakh companies okay out of uh, 15 lakh companies maybe 6 to 8 lakh companies whose paid up share capital is uh, 10 crore or more but if you see the statistics of the uh, professional company secretaries it is 60 to 65000 members okay so uh, there is a huge demand for the company secretary professionals you we will not see any one company secretary who is unemployed okay even the semi qualified company secretaries are placed in a, uh, in an uh, in an organization in the executive level right and a company other than uh, the company uh, other than a company covered above which has a paid up share capital of 10 crore rupees or more shall have a whole time company secretary so uh, the students need not be afraid whether they will get employment after completing this professional course the job is uh, you need not search for the job okay the job will search for you so there is a huge demand for the company secretary professionals okay then the company secretary in practice so in practice uh, um, the company secretary as i told you the, this is the other option you can be in employment and get your monthly income or you can be an entrepreneur by setting up your own practice so in practice these are all the uh, avenues the now the companies act increase the opportunities for company secretaries in practice by introducing secretarial audit so as per section uh, 204 of the companies act 2013 red with companies amendment uh, appointment and remuneration of managerial personnel rules the following companies are required to obtain a secretary audit report from independent practicing company secretary so the every listed company every public company having paid up share capital of 50 crore rupees or more every public company having turnover of 250 crores or more so these companies have to submit the secretary audit through the practicing company secretary and this uh, slide shows the Uh, uh, key result areas of a company secretary in employment so the responsibility of a company secretary is the, the following responsibilities he will be mobilizing the resources from capital market through initial public offerings foreign direct investment okay then he will be managing the corporate restructuring uh, he will be managing the joint ventures and foreign collaborations within and beyond india and ensuring due diligence and compliances of all the laws applicable to the company and he is responsible for the corporate social responsibility then the company secretaries are a multifaceted professionals with all round ex excellence they are competent to work as integrated corporate managers and capable of undertaking wide gamut of work in all functional areas in addition to their core area of legal and corporate compliance management so this is the role of a company secretary in employment okay then uh, what if company doesn't engage a company secretary so the directors risk increases because uh, the directors should justify the reason why they have not appointed a, a, comp a company secretary for such period okay uh, if a company is having paid up share capital of 10 crore or more they have not appointed a company secretary for for a period of 3 to 6 months then the company has to pay penalty to the Uh, government uh, the ministry uh, uh, on day to day basis okay 
so the directors has to justify why they have not appointed a company secretary during such period and uh, by by the penalty the opportunity cost increased in terms of penalty and interest for the organization then the the company will be devoid of valuable advice to the business if a company secretary is not there uh, there will uh, there will not be uh, the ideas to how to expand the business okay uh, so all this uh, project uh, report uh, he has to submit so everything the company will be losing so this is a, there is a non compliance increases manifold so these are all the uh, flaw for the company if they have not appointed a company secretary now we have reached uh, uh, the uh, to know about the stages of the company secretaryship course okay now all this uh, time we have seen about the profession uh, as a company secretary okay now how to uh, how you can get the company secretary uh, professional qualifications that tips uh, i will share with you uh, there are four stages cs executive uh, entrance test then cs executive program then cs professional program and uh, the compulsory training curriculum also the students have to undergo before getting the membership number once you get the membership number you can prefix with uh, your name uh, prefix your name with cs qualification okay so the eligibility for the first level cs eet is the plus 2 okay any students with their plus 2 mark sheet or with their plus 2 hall ticket can enter into this cs professional course okay so the here the entry is easy the exit uh, you have to come out uh, as a professional with your hard work and perseverance okay with these two to two tools you can come out as a professional company secretary okay so the registration and examination uh, there are four cut off dates for writing the cs uh, eet examination uh, the, that is uh, now 15th october is the cut off date for writing the exam in november okay and you can choose your convenient cut off date for writing the first level of the examination okay so the exams will happen in may july november and january and the investment is only rupees 1000 for the cs eet course okay once you register the for the cs eet with your 1000 rupees investment you can complete this first level cs eet course if you are a scst student then you, you can avail 50% fee concession okay and about the scholarship i will detail you uh, separately okay then these are all the subjects the students should be studying in the cs eet so now due to the pandemic uh, this viva is uh, is exempted uh, due to this pandemic the students are writing only these four papers for 120 marks 3 30 marks in each paper uh, the these are all the subjects the business communication legal aptitude and logical reasoning economic and business environment then current affairs okay so the students would be having the uh, first hand knowledge about all these uh, subjects some preliminary knowledge you will be having but uh, the syllabus complete syllabus is available in the website of the institute okay so you please go through the syllabus and prepare to write the examination okay uh, and uh, the you please utilize this time because the viva is not there due to the pandemic once the uh, ban is lifted uh, then uh, it will be inter again reintroduced okay so it is better you please uh, all of you Uh, register before 15th october and take up the exam in november uh, itself okay then uh, the aggregate mark is a 50% is the aggregate mark for passing the each uh, for passing passing the uh, cs eet in each mark uh, each uh, subject you have to secure 40 marks as in your college uh, syllabus but in aggregate put together all the papers you have to secure 50 percentage of marks because this is the professional examination okay you should have a, a thorough knowledge on the subject okay that is why this criteria is there and there is no negative mark in the cs eet and uh, the duration of the test will be 30 minutes each for four subjects it will be 120 minutes uh, once the viva is introduced for that uh, 15 minutes will be there there is no negative mark okay this is the uh, as far as the first level is concerned these are the details okay and uh, after passing this first level only the students are eligible to register for the second level which is executive program okay 
So uh, now, uh, from 20th June 2021, uh, the new scheme is uh, also introduced where the students with their 50% uh, marks of uh, UG or uh, post graduation without any criteria of mark. Okay. So those students also can join directly for the CS executive program, second level. Okay. Uh, other students have to undergo the CS EET examination. And uh, the students have to pay some exemption fee for getting exemption from the CS EET. And uh, the, once you register for the executive program, the registration is valid for five years. And uh, these are all the cutoff dates. Uh, 31st May is the cutoff date uh, for writing both modules in December. July is the cutoff date for writing one module in uh, December. Likewise, November is the cutoff date for writing both modules in June and January is the cutoff date for writing one module in June. So these are all the various cutoff dates according to your uh, convenience. You can choose the cutoff dates for writing the CS examinations. Okay. And um, the same uh, after passing the executive program, the students have to register for the CS professional program. And here also the registration validity is five years from the date of registration to the CS professional program. The validity will be for five years. Every year the exams will be conducted in June and December for the CS executive and professional examination. So whenever you are writing the examination, you have to pay 1200 rupees per module for writing the examination so like your semester exams where you will be paying for the exams you no know, like that here also you have to pay the examination fee whenever you are writing the examination okay then uh, as far as the investment for the executive and professional program is concerned uh, the students would be investing um, 10600 rupees okay the for the cs eat study material uh, the students would be paying 8500 rupees there will be eight papers in executive program, uh, which is divided into uh, four papers in each module, two modules. Okay. Then uh, the uh, thousand rupees for the pre exam test and 100, 600 rupees for the one day orientation program. And the chartered secretary uh, uh, subscription is optional. Uh, the students can go through the chartered secretary journal. Uh, by, by browsing through our website. The previous issues of the journal is available. If you feel uh, you are, uh, uh, you wanted, you would like to update your details with your, uh, with this Chartered Secretary, then you can uh, subscribe for the Chartered Secretary, which is only optional, okay? And after passing the executive program only, the students are going to invest for the third level professional program, which is 13,000. Rupees. The, the registration fee is 12,000 rupees and the pre exam test is 1,000 rupees. Okay. This pre exam uh, examination will be conducted through online just to ascertain about uh, whether the student has the preliminary knowledge on the particular subject. Okay. And these are all the subjects which the students would be studying in the executive program, uh, jurisprudence, interpretation and general laws, company law, setting up of business entities and closure, tax laws, then corporate and management accounting, security laws and capital markets, economic and business, uh, business and commercial laws, financial and strategic management. If you see these subjects, you know, the uh, students would, uh, would be already studying the same subjects in your uh, undergraduation curriculum also being a commerce student, okay? So here you have the option to write eight papers at one stretch. If you have the confidence, you can take up uh, eight papers at one stretch so that you know, the aggregate marks will be carried over from one module to other module, module. Otherwise, you can choose to write the exams by module wise. You have to take up the exam one module and uh, acquire the, that is the secure uh, 50 percentage of mark. Okay, in each subject, 40 is the pass mark and 50% aggregate mark is required to clear the examination. Okay, uh, and when you are pursuing this executive program, uh, you will have the opportunity to get very good marks in your, in your uh, graduation exams also. Because you no, know, here you will be uh, studying the subject in depth. So you will be having the uh, more knowledge, the, so the, the expectations of the, the university is something and you will be, you can easily uh, exceed that expectation. That way you can get very good marks in your graduation also, okay? 
then after passing this executive the in the professional program you would be studying nine papers which is divided into three modules three paper in each module okay so here also the subject should be very much interesting so whatever will happen in the company the same thing you are going to study okay so this will help you to take up the senior level position in in the organization and every four or five years the institute syllabus is uh, revamped according to the expectations of the industry okay so uh, you will be studying the updated knowledge which is required for the organization and uh, you will be respected in the uh, for when you are uh, searching for the employment okay and uh, in one of the cs professional program there are two open book exam which is multidisciplinary case studies uh, and uh, elective paper uh, eight elective papers are there out of which you have to choose one elective paper according to your uh, uh, expert knowledge on the particular subject or your interest on a particular subject okay so here also you have an option to write all the nine papers at one stretch that way the aggregate marks will be carried out and the duration of the course will be lessened okay otherwise you have the option to write six papers or you can write three papers in each module every year june and december the exams will happen okay then the one day orientation program once the student is registered for the executive program they will be attending this one day orientation program and during this one day orientation program the uh, the tips and uh, the tips will be given to the students to clear how to clear the examination okay and also how to get this professional course okay the uh, Madam, I am in a webinar. I will call you after that. So, in this one-day orientation program, the uh, uh, the students will know about the ICSI role and responsibility of a company secretary, then scheme of studies, course curriculum, uh, duration of the program. Okay. Uh, so all these, uh, how to become a qualified company secretary, okay, all these tips and motivation will be given during this one day orientation program uh, to be able to uh, successfully complete this uh, CS course. Okay, then uh, the pre-examination training. Uh, so there are, uh, after the, after passing the executive program of the CS course, the students are eligible to take up the a uh, one month edp which is uh, 15 days online mode and 15 days classroom mode now uh, due to the pandemic we are conducting both uh, edps through online mode okay now and uh, after after uh, after clearing this 15 days program only the students are eligible to take up the 21 month practical training with industry and practicing company secretary so and during this 21 month practical training, uh, three advantages are there for the students. Number one, they will be getting the practical exposure. Okay. Then they will be getting a stipend money from uh, the organization or uh, with the PCS. Okay. So this, uh, we call it as a stipend, some 6,000 rupees or 8,000 rupees, or some companies pay 10,000 rupees also for a trainee. Okay. So you will be getting uh, the stipend money, whatever money you are investing to uh, pursue this course, you can get back that money during your training curriculum itself. Okay, then uh, you will be getting the practical exposure, that practical exposure, practical knowledge will uh, give you the confidence to clear the professional exams in first attempt itself. Okay, so these are all the three advantages when you are in the 21 month practical training with industry and practicing company secretary then there will be one month residential corporate leadership training program after passing the professional course which is the third level okay so in this one month residential corporate leadership program uh, there will be project presentation there will be mock board meeting mock agm okay so uh, you will be with the other students who who, who who have the experience with different sectors or as a company secretary or with a practicing company secretary so there will be sharing of knowledge during this one month residential corporate leadership training program okay 
and no uh, the exemption will be granted for the uh, for the students uh, who have the practical experience here the, i would like to say that there is no age limit for pursuing the cs course anybody can pursue the cs course so the employees who are in the middle management and junior level position in the organization they take up the cs course for their uh, promotion uh, and their career development okay so for them based on their experience the exemption will be granted from attending the uh, this 21 month practical training okay and uh, uh, placement and pay packages if you see uh, in recent campus placement the meritorious students uh, uh, were picked up by regulators and companies at a very attractive starting salaries and uh, salary packages of course depend upon the capabilities and capacities of a person and vary from sector to sector in the large corporate and multi uh, multinational companies they are attracting huge pay packages ranging between 25 lakhs to 1 crore per annum okay to know more details about this you, uh, you can visit the, uh, the youtube you can search for the highly paid company secretaries top company top 10 company secretaries uh, companies who are uh, paying more for the company secretaries so the uh, the company secretaries themselves they are sharing their knowledge uh, their their um, success stories okay which would give you uh, which uh, which would definitely give you a motivation to take up this professional course okay and uh, uh, the this uh, when you apply for the cs executive entrance test you will find this uh, screenshot okay so before registration to the uh, cs eet you have to keep your uh, the following document scanned copy so that the process will be very easy okay so the your photograph signature date of birth proof and admit card or hall ticket of the plus 2 examination then plus 2 pass mark okay uh then category certificate if you are availing the fee concession if you are an scst student then you can avail 50% fee concession and the now the uh, due to the pandemic the in, in, institute has introduced uh, the 100% fee concession for the students uh, who have lost their parents uh, because of this pandemic uh, the, so these single parent students uh, they can uh, uh, they can uh, take up this uh, course 100% fee concession is available okay so they have to uh, attach the supporting documents for claiming this uh, concession okay then the id proof or aadhar card whatever uh, id proof for any any id proof address proof okay so these documents you have to scan it and keep it ready to be able to register for the first level cs eet course okay then uh, the classroom teaching centers at regional office and chapters so the uh, we have uh, the 72 chapters and four regional offices at metro cities we are conducting the online classes for the benefit of the students to uh, uh, to help the students to write the examination cs examinations okay so uh, these in these uh, classroom teaching uh, small batches will be there best faculties will be handling the classes then there will be concept clarity personal attention then access to the library there will be doubt clearing clearance sessions will be there and expert and experienced faculty will be handling the classes we charge a reasonable fee in comparison to the private centers so if you see the private centers are collecting some uh, three uh, more than 18 to 20000 rupees for uh, but for the, our regional offices or uh, sirc is concerned we are collecting only 3000 rupees for the cs eet classes okay so the classes will be there for 4 hours daily on 35 for 35 days duration and the morning 5 to 7 to 9 and evening 5 to 7 the classes will be conducted once you pay the classroom teaching fee uh, then uh, through online then we will be sharing the link through that link the students can join for the online classes okay so in this online classes the 100% coverage of syllabus will be there and there will be optimal fee in comparison to the private centers as i told you uh, the library facility with latest books uh, then uh, learning through practical approach we will be conducting the demo lectures mock test and crash courses okay during this uh, for the classroom teaching students and there will be special program and special guest lectures will be there okay so these are all the advantages for the students if they take up the 
coaching classes conducted by the regional office and the uh, chapters of our <coughs> icsi and uh, the uh, exemption no uh, the uh, pre exam test is also exempted uh, for the classroom teaching students subject to the condition they have to pass the exams which we will be conducting through offline mode okay then the study center scheme we have introduced the study center scheme icsi and we have uh, we are associating with more than 114 uh, uh, universities and colleges by setting up these study centers okay so these study centers will be conducting the class classes for the cs course and they will be conducting the awareness program and the study centers will be disseminating the the information about the cs course and they will facilitate the registration of the students through uh, in in their curriculum uh, in their uh, campus itself okay then they the wherever we have a mou the icsi study materials will be available the students can make use of the library facilities of the universities or colleges uh, then they, this is the initiative which the uh, institute is taking okay then uh, we are motivating the commerce students by setting up uh, by signing an mou uh, with uh, the 40 universities including iim okay and uh, these uh, the commerce all the three toppers we will be choosing three toppers of commerce in each year and during the convocation of the college or of the university these three commerce toppers will be recognized by giving we will be giving away uh, the 25000 worth gold medal for the first topper and all the three toppers will be given the certificate uh, then uh, the all the uh, three toppers can pursue the cs executive program without paying any money okay uh, they can claim uh, score, uh, they can claim uh, the registration money back okay if they are the rank holders okay so the by this way they are we are motivating the commerce toppers okay and apart from this uh, i have two points to inform you Uh, that is we have uh, icsi has signed mou with the indira gandhi national open university uh, through which the students can get their bcom uh, and mcom curriculum okay so uh, after passing the cs executive program the students have to register through correspondence course with igno for the bcom qualification they have to write only four papers to get the uh, bcom degree okay so uh, see many students immediately after their plus 2 they directly come into the professional courses okay so without even going to the colleges they could get bcom and mcom degree uh, after passing the uh, cs professional program the students are eligible to register for the mcom corporate governance course uh, which is conducted by the igno and uh, the there are uh, 18 papers in the mcom curriculum uh, based on passing cs professional program the students are exempted from nine papers okay the students have to write only nine papers to get their mcom corporate governance qualification so uh, any student who is planning with their plus 2 hall ticket uh, within 4 to 5 years they can get plus 2 bcom and mcom qualifications so once you have the uh, once you have these qualifications naturally you will be employed in a senior level position okay so uh, and uh, to know about the uh, scholarship uh, availability in the institute you i request all the students to visit our website icsi.edu and you can search seft student education fund trust so that you can see the guidelines the application form is available to uh, to get your uh, scholarship okay so uh, you can visit the website and understand the details and the complete uh, syllabus is available in the cs eet icon under the student uh, under the student corner uh, student academic corner if you click on that you can browse through the study materials of the cs executive and the professional program okay so before uh, registration to the this professional course first you please understand uh, the details and analyze whether then you will get the confidence then you can register for the cs course okay uh, so uh, i hope the students would have a uh, lot of takeaways through this program 
and uh, we will have a question answer session and then we will wind up the program so i enjoyed uh, uh, by sharing these points uh, uh, to the students of the db jain college okay and uh, i hope the students would also have some takeaways from this uh, program and uh, uh, i wish every one of them all the best in all their future endeavor and uh, to transform themselves to become a professional company secretary uh, wish you all the best students and i thank uh, the db jain college uh, management principal and uh, particularly vidya uh, vidya madam and all the other Uh, faculties who are uh, assembled here i thank once again uh, for the opportunity given to me uh, then uh, we, now we will have a question answer session then we will wind up the program thank you very much thank you ma'am thank you ma'am students now you can thank you. Uh, ask your uh, questions you can type in the chat box also yes, yes. Ma'am, on behalf of the students, I'll just uh, put out only one question, ma'am. Yeah. Like yeah. we have the passing of batch now uh, currently attending this session. Okay. So for the passing of batch, though now now they are becoming a graduate uh, soon after the results are uh, out. Now when okay. they join this course uh, for the, I think they will they are eligible for the executive course. Now yeah. are there exemptions in paper for them? No, no, the, no, no paper wise exemption, madam. Only for the professional uh, chartered accountant and cost accountants, uh, we have uh, they have exemptions from four or five papers are exempted for them. Uh, here there is no exemption for the graduate uh, UG or PG. Previously it was there for the MCom corporate secretaryship uh, uh, candidates. Here they can claim some two three papers exemption because they would have studied the same subjects. Uh, in the mcom curriculum itself it is also a professional uh, qualification right yes. but now the various institute universities and in, uh, institutes are following uh, the uh, different syllabus so there is no control for uh, for us to grant the exemption for the students so they can uh, directly with their if they are uh, secured uh, ug graduates with 50% marks they can directly land to the into the executive program they need not uh, write the CS EET examination. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Students, anybody has any questions? You may please ask, ma'am, about that. They can also share their feedback about this program. Okay. Yes. I think it's time to start uh, a road of thanks. Yeah, madam. Yes, madam, please. Yeah. Good. Uh, good afternoon to one and all present here. It gives me an immense pleasure to propose the vote of thanks. I wholeheartedly thank you, Mrs. Chitra Anantaraman, ma'am, for sparing your valuable time in making your presentation and giving our students an insight into company secretaryship program. Ma'am, right from your highlight. from satyam vada dharmam chara highlighting the role of company secretary in employment and in practice it has been a very useful session and by our students who have given you have given a birds eye view from all dimensions right from fee structure the subjects the uh, pre membership program so many things you have highlighted in a nutshell it was extremely useful to our students and in understanding the curriculum the placements scholarship the exemptions and everything in a very short span you have explained to our students and it will motivate them to climb up their ladder in the career ladder thank you ma'am for motivating our students and to take up their career in company secretaryship thank you thanks ma'am thank you thank you very much ma'am i take this opportunity to thank our uh, our professor in charge dr shaktivel murugan sir and our uh, uh, our pr principal sir and the management to give to have given us the permission to conduct this virtual program on this company secretaryship uh, career guidance thank you ma'am thanks a lot every uh, i thank all the faculty members for give for uh, making this uh, this function a grand success thanks everybody
Thank you. Thanks Thank for the you. participant. I request all the participants to fill in the feedback form before you leave the meeting. Please fill in the feedback form, which is there in the chat box. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This, Thank you. Once again, this Thank is you. my 83rd program through online after the pandemic. Oh, uh, <laughs> nice. Great, ma'am. Super, ma'am. Thanks, Thanks, Thank ma Thanks, 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 Thanks a lot, ma'am. It's very, very useful. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thanks a lot for sharing your knowledge and experience, ma'am. Thank, 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 Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very Thank much. You. Very well explained and uh, very yeah, nice. I think uh, all yes, yes, ma'am. All young minds are ignited to procure Thank a professional degree, ma'am. So really, I will share the this PPT with you, madam. If you want, you can circulate sure, to the all the students so that they yes, can actually go through that and get some motivation uh, and discuss uh, along along with the other students to join this. Course. Yes, true, true. Yes, sure, 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 sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. 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 Thank